Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan. See what spills out. This week we are going to do five big stromatoboroids. This is the first one. Nice little nodule. You can see all the layers all the way through. Stump on the bottom. So I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to go right down the middle. And see you know what those layers look like on the inside should be pretty sweet and second we have this one this is a really good one a lot of white wispy and then you have some of those um vertical you know vertical posts and they're really nice too so i think what i want to do it's nice and solid that way i think i want to cut it like this way and kind of cut this mudstone off and try to get a big slab of it that way so we'll see how that one turns this one may be less stromatoporoid and more other fossils. You know, you can see lots of oolites and some coral there. Coral on the bottom, right there even. So I'm not sure 100% what's going to be in there. It looks really cool though. It's totally included with stuff. So I think I'm going to cut right down the middle. Right down the middle of that. See, it, I'm, I'm sure the inside of that's going to look awesome. Then the fifth one, or fourth one, is this one which is very chert included you know a lot of different colors it's still got that stump on the bottom and then you can see those kind of conchoidal fractures or weird fractures so i think with this one oh man i don't know i think i might go like this like cut it like right here and then if it's really cool i might try to cut the other side off and have a huge slab but we'll see how hard it is to cut it's kind of a weird shape and then last but not least is this monster, which, you know, I got big hands. So it's totally included with fossil, you know, maybe some cold water stuff going on there, there. So I want to get two big faces off of this thing, see what's in there. Go right down the middle. Woo! And that should be about, uh, about the max I can cut on this saw probably. But let's get the 10 inch slab saw set up. I got a thick centered blade so I can have a nice cut. So let's get cutting. Okay, through the first one, right down the middle like I wanted, it kind of went right through the stump. So let's see what we got. Ooh, very gritty, big pocket in there. Maybe like a little, yeah, maybe a little geody pocket. Really good layering on there still. You can see all the stromatoporoid layers. Just that little pocket in there, but it turned out really cool. It has a little bit of mudstone at the bottom here where the where the stump was, so that's kind of cool, a little contrast. Those might even shine up cool and just have that little pittiness and pocket in there. That's kind of a good representation of what they look like on the inside a lot of times. So, all right, one for one, let's get on to number two. Okay, number two, I got it right where I wanted it, right next to the mudstone. So it did chip out a little bit there, but that's okay. So this is what we had on the outside. So let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost perfect, a pit right there and a pit right there. But other than that, totally full. And that side too, look at all that little micro white banded. And there's really only those same two pockets on that side. So I'll be able to get something out of both sides of that for sure, I would think. Another really nice wispy white, you know, tiny, tiny little micro bands, like not bands, but micro layers in the whole thing. So, all right, two for two, on to number three. So as you saw with that one, these things can be very, very gritty and brittle. You know, there's almost nothing you can do to have that sandstony kind of material chip out. But so a little bit of chip out. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
That is pretty cool. Not sure if that's dramatoporoid or if that's something different. Then you got all this other stuff going on. Mudstone down here. Maybe some other fossil. Then this side, oh, look at that. A little face. It actually looks like a little worm, a caterpillar. Look at that. That's awesome. I might have to actually polish that one up for sure. Oh, and you got a little geode pocket right there. Pretty cool. That is uh, full of stuff going on. So definitely gonna polish probably both sides of that one, 100%. Just looks really cool. I just really like the uh, caterpillar. He's surprised. All right, let's get on to number four. Okay, so you saw what happened there. This whole piece just cracked right in half, right when I was cutting it. So we'll check out and see what's on the end there. Very, very full of stromatoporoid. You know, I might be able to still get something out of these couple pieces on this side. So then this is what we got. Oh yeah, that looks pretty much like a stromatoporoid. You know, I don't know if that's a fracture right there. That would kind of suck. It looks like something right there. So what I wanted to do was maybe take one more slice off of this thing um, and see what it would look like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that actually. Let's do that quick. Okay, we zipped another line down the other side. So we got a big old slab now. Ooh, that side looks way cooler with that like fossil suit mudstone down there. But look at all that patterning in there. Glad I did that. Now I got a big monster slab to make into something. It's almost perfect too, actually. And then here's the other end. Another cool one. Looks like a big wispy white something right in the middle of there. And then it's got maybe a tiny little pocket. Mudstone at the bottom. Sweet, so I got a nice uh, nice couple pieces out of that one for sure. So four for four, on to that monster one. Whew. Okay, we got through that thing, had to spin it, but it actually wasn't too bad, it was pretty soft. So let's see what actually came through to the middle of this monster. Oh, look at that. Definitely geode pocket in the middle. Maybe some cold water pocket right there. Very brown and wispy. Very, very dark, that's cool. I got two really good, <clears throat> excuse me, good pieces out of it too. So these will be good to like hand polish up, you know, or, you know, probably hand polish, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to get a bigger machine. I'm still, uh, still minus a large sanding machine, but I'm getting there. But so for today, definitely five for five. That's really, really cool inside of there. You know, I wasn't expecting... I was expecting more of this like limestone matrix or whatever it's in, but really cool. So five for five. So if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.